are back in the Talos Principle, and now we have to tackle uh, World 6. And this is one of the games that I recorded during the silence period, so this is being done post-commentary. But there I took a quick look at World 7 to make sure I would have 20 stars by the time I was done. One from the Overworld, two from Sigils of Elohim, and then there are still two others in the Overworld. And I grabbed the axe to see if I could actually bring it into the world with me, but that appears not to be the case. Anyway, as per usual, for when I'm doing the post-commentary, I'll go completely silent when Alexandra, Elohim... I think those are the only two who actually have voice actors in the game, but when they speak, I will shut up. Purpose can only be achieved by not contemplating purpose, Samsara. And I haven't been watching the version numbers to see if those have been changing, I've just been looking at the name. Here we have the computer terminal, and we're going to be having our showdown with a snake at the end of this video. So, dearest brother, etc., etc. I can't really read the text on my screen, but you can pause it if you want to read it on your own. and I didn't want to try to detranslate that since that's probably some sort of hexadecimal code or something like that, like with the moon landing star. Human soul. And we have more of this butler guy. here aren't really that bad. One of them is kind of annoying, and well, I hate the platforming parts of Alexandra. This is all ego, isn't it? Recording these random thoughts, these letters to the future. Just a desperate grab for immortality. But you should know, yes, this was my idea, my project, but so many people helped. People I don't even know. People I haven't even met who can do things I don't even begin to understand. That if we succeeded, if someone's listening to this, I really can't take credit for it. What we achieved, we achieved together. And if we fail, well, it doesn't matter. And she's not talking, but here we have Two Way Street. The first of the puzzles, and... No, this is not the one that you need to set up to do the star. But it's basically your run-of-the-mill jammer puzzle, nothing we haven't seen before. You just have to find the two jammers, then use them in sequence to open a door, keep it open, move them, until you finally reach the puzzle piece. They do mix things up with some sentry guns or gatling guns, wherever you should think of them at the end. But no curveballs to be found here. I think the game realizes it's winding down and starting to take things a little easy. still figure the parts with the platform were the absolute worst of the game since you had to... I think you actually had to use every single one of those in combination with the record function and... Well, the record can be kind of annoying. I don't think I actually recorded the voiceover for that part. That might be in the last video where you get to see recording hell. But here's the second jammer, so now we need to go back and get the first one. I'm taking a look around to see, just gather some information about what may lie ahead. I'm going to go ahead and take a peek here, and the sentry guns tell me, yeah, I definitely need the second jammer. So we have to go back through the bomb area. Luckily the area is large enough that it's not too bad. And you could try to keep the bombs in sync. There are a couple different ways to go about it, I really didn't care. Worst come to worst, you can always use the jammer to reposition them, so even if one gets its pattern changed, it's not the end of the world, and it can be pretty easily remedied. Well, we're now past the bombs, it's time to deal with the guns. So that's the first one down. There's another red laser, which means there's one more over there. There's a total of three, if you're wondering. So, jammer to that one. And if you look on the wall, there is a switch. If you follow the cord, that will lead you to the... 
Uh, first one we deactivated, I thought there were three. Maybe there were only two and you just needed the jammer to open the door. But yeah, just do that. Grab the key. And we don't need to jam that one anymore, so we can go ahead and bring this just in case. I don't remember if there was one in front of the puzzle or... Not, but I can go ahead and jam that just to keep it down. And yes, I did want to take a jammer with me. So I go ahead and set it up in position so I don't have to run back with the jammer. This way I only have to make half the trip if both are actually needed. And turns out they both are. So th there were three, I was correct. It's just one was in a different area. And right here, I was expecting some sort of trap to shoot me in the back or something, but... No, it looks like this is harmless once you do indeed get the sentry gun out of the way. So, grab the piece, the gate will open, and you can just go ahead and leave and go to the next puzzle. And I edited out the intermediate parts to these, so it's a much more streamlined experience. This one, I think that's a circumlocution. Basically, you have to go around things. And this is one of the annoying ones that you have to set up a certain way to get the star. Luckily, the way is very, very simple. It's just you have to round up all the pieces first of all. So we need the cube to hold the switch. We have one connector. We have a jammer. The jammer will allow us to bypass doors we shouldn't be passing through at the moment. Lo and behold, we have another connector, which I can use to keep that door open. back to... yeah, I don't know why I grabbed that. Maybe I didn't realize when... okay, that's why. Really, it's up to you. You can use the connector or the jammer. It won't really have any impact because you have to bring the cue back and then bring the other one forward. As for this, I was just taking a peek at what's ahead. So I obviously know the cube has to go sit on that switch while I play with the connectors and jammer. So I'm free to move the jammer, I can open another door, try to find the next connector in sequence, and start building the chain here. And with that connector, I can go even further than normal, I just have to use the jammer to open this door. I'm just doing a sweep to make sure I'm not missing something, because I do need more parts in order to finish this puzzle, such as this connector. So, for this one... Yeah, I think I just left that be and... went to try to get to this room. So, one final sweep to make sure I'm not missing anything, and now I'm able to look inside and see there's the piece, and now I have to rearrange stuff. So, we'll be cutting to the rearrangement part from the beginning. So, for the very first segment, we need to go from the source to the first receiver. And, of course, we actually have to have a connection to the source. You can't have the wall in the way. From there, we need to use the second connector to link to the first connector, the next doorway. And we can also position this one in a kind of tricky way. This one needs to reach four things. So right there I have three figured out. Now I need to go back and get the fourth one, which apparently I haven't realized just yet. Here's where I put two and two together. So realizing what four things I needed to link, I can go ahead and pick this up, go from that to that, to that, and then we have to go and hit the one over there. And I'm having problems with the connectors, or the clicking on the receivers I should say. 
So there is an area here where you can hit all four. I could also rearrange the connector behind me. It's just... There is a way to satisfy all these in one go. You can see it flicker on from time to time. That time the wall's in the way, but I will figure it out within the next couple seconds. Otherwise I would have edited this out. So we need to have all four symbols white while also still being able to see the tripod on the ground. So right there, we go ahead and hit all of them. Now the jammer, I can go ahead and just pick that up since I'm already on the other side. And now I need a way to open that door. So I can keep that one open since I'm on this side. And now I have to jam the bomb, and unfortunately I do have the jammer in the wrong spot. I have to move that so it's not blocking the connector itself. But all in all, that's a pretty easy fix. Especially once you have the bomb jammed, you're pretty much good to go. Right here is when I figured out the jammer's in the way. Just try to line it up, move the jammer after the fact. disable the bomb and I'm free to grab the piece. Now I need to use the jammer to free up the star. So if you look out that window you will see the star in the distance behind that blue wall. And there's a reason why we have a jammer in this room and the, a clear shot at the star. So I went ahead and dropped that there. Now we need to move on to the next puzzle which I believe is the recording one. Really can't wait for those to be over with. I wonder how many of us there have been sheep. This one's a bit of a headache. So the trick is you have to set things up in advance, have your copy, then do its own versions to basically open the first half of the area for you and then use the pieces you have to open the second half. Right here I don't... Okay, I'm still lining the things up while I'm in the information gathering phase. So we have the next set of doors open and I'm able to see I need just something to open the door for me. So first things first, I actually need to move the jammer onto the other side. So I have the copy using its connector, or jammer, that's going to hold it open for me to walk through and then I can go to the other side and jam it. Now we're going to skip to the part where I have the puzzle kind of figured out and I'll demonstrate it firsthand. I actually figured out part way through this, as you'll notice from the recording. So right here I'm trying to figure out what's going where. I have the jammer in place to keep stuff open for me. I have to reset the connector, which I'm going to figure out in a second. So with the recorded connector in place, that's going to free up the normal connector for me to grab. And I think that's actually all I need to do, but I go ahead and stand on this just to try to convenience myself later on. It will give me a little bit of extra time since that means the connector will be on the field for a little bit longer. So it's not entirely a bad thing. Right here I go ahead and just grab the connector, drop that on the switch. I need the jammer. Got stuck on the wall, but otherwise it's just back and forth from here. Over there is the star, which we have set up already. We just need to open the door to get to it. So jammer, connector... You can see the jammer in the distance. And now we just need to go to the other part of the puzzle. So they do have receivers there to confuse you, I assume. It's much simpler than it looks. We got the next piece, and we are now ready to go confront Milton for the final time. So, quick peek at the sign, and I'm going to be going quiet here since Elohim is going to talk. Ok, 
panel chime in a little bit longer. This is where you decide your ending for the most part, or some of the achievements you can unlock based on how you deal with Milton. I decide to go for the blind faith route, and that's why it's the final confrontation with him. Enough! Silence, demon! You will torment this one no more! You have done well, child. There is no hope without faith, and little use in speaking to one who would deceive you into doubt and despair. Look within you, my child. For you have always been free, and have always had the power to banish this demon forever. And with that, our admin powers are unlocked. And Milton is going bye-bye. Your other course of action is to cut a deal with him. And there's a third route that I don't really remember, which I'm not going to showcase because that means I have to play through the game again, which I'm not in any rush to do. Have faith in the hidden words, and everlasting life shall be yours. I regret nothing. There's nothing more you can do here, you just have to type something in to get the exit command to come up. And you're good to go now. You just have to hit resume and then you can quit. Finally, some peace and quiet, what I was thinking after I completed this part. So, resume library function, we've already read everything, so we're good to go. So next time, World 7. One more star to go and then we have to tackle the Star Worlds. So, until then, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.